generational wealth how to back test so if you are using trading view the free trading view account to back test you can only use the daily to do a replay to back test so another way you can back test is to just pretty much um, these simple tasks here as well as slowly using the scroll to the right and scroll to the left options at the bottom here so what you'll do is you're pretty much slowly play out your market slowly play it out using this as well as charting out your tools your indicators and and setting up as well as you're going to actually trade take the trade setup and as well as you know asking yourself you know do you see a setup don't just trade to be trading you have to back test and take it serious so another thing is that this is one of the most important aspects of trading in the forex you have to back test and i mean three to five times a week you have to back test because you cannot just come into this market every week and expect to win without learning and studying the market or or that pair you have to know the structure of that pair so that brings us to our first topic defining your strategy you have to define your strategy are you are you back testing m and w formations are you back testing london openings are you back testing new york session are, what are you back testing so you need to first define your strategy second your entry reasons when you're back testing like i said before you want to slowly come down here and play it out but what are your entry reasons when you set it up make sure that you are entering as if the market is live why are you answering do you see your your strategy do you see your structure or your reasons of why you answer so as well as your exit reasons you need to find out why and when do you exit here at generational wealth we teach twin trading so if you're not familiar go watch one of the previous videos to get familiarized with how to twin trade but we teach twin trading as one of our reasons and we also um, spot zones so that's be one of the reasons on why would you exit so um so as you're doing this this is what you need to to mark down as you you're charting out this as you're back testing and then your tools mark down your tools your indicators mark down your sunday monday tuesday mark down your trend lines um mark down your opening of new york and in, in london session you know here at generational wealth we do not use indicators but um i know a lot of people use emas and etc so to us our, our our tools is our indicators so mark down your appropriate tools and indicators to help you identify when there's a setup happening as well as journal your results you need to journal your results you have to take this serious you cannot you, you have to back test three to five times a week i cannot stress that as much because this is important it's like learning the market and fast forward as well as learning that pair on how that pair moves every week as well as your strategy defining your strategy so you and, and then I, another way what you can do to chart down on your journal results all you need to do is probably write down journal down a pair your entry oops your exit stop loss how many pips you gained or lost and then was it a win or was it a loss
you know, journal your results and, and, and keep track of the pair, the entry, the exit, stop loss, pip, gain or loss, and then, it, and, and then write it down. And then that helps you know what pair, you know, you, you, your setup, your strategy works best with. So, so let's play it out slowly so you can get a better understanding. So find your strategy, find your entry reasons, your exit reasons, mark your tools, indicators as well. So let's go ahead and slowly play this out. So this day right here will be our Sunday, Monday. So right here, we know in generational wealth, we don't trade Sunday, Monday, right? So we'll wait to Tuesday to trade. So see when our session break, this is our first session break. Once we identify our second one, we know it crosses over to Tuesday when we get ready to look for our first setup of the week. There we go, crossing over. So now we have Sunday, Monday. We can also identify our Tuesday. Right here, we just drag that right there. Now, what we do on Sunday, Monday, identify our high, identify our lows. This is our high of Sunday, Monday, right? This is our low of Sunday, Monday. So we teach you to, on Tuesday, look for our setup to our Sunday, Monday, our Tuesday reversal of our Sunday, Monday high or low. So slowly play it out. We see our Asian session right here happening. Consolidation. Well, now we got our London breakout. London session is opening right here. Go ahead and mark our London. We mark our London. And it's already close to our high, so um, that's awesome. Getting closer to New York. So I trade New York a lot. Oh, there we go. What is that? 9.30, we're up there. Not ready to open of New York. Yep, there we go. Our New York. Identify it. So we had our New York session. And look what happens. Tuesday, we didn't get nothing on Tuesday. But what happened on Wednesday here? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still talking about Wednesday. We're still on Tuesday. Oh, there we go, boom. New York, we got our reversal. Because we know right here, the opening of New York session right here, we got our reversal because we see our Sunday, Monday, then you got our Tuesday, our high, which Sunday, Monday, Tuesday came to stop hunt. This is our stop hunt and before it reversed. Oops. Before it reversed. So and that's pretty much how you're going to back test. You're going to play it out just like this. Here we go again. Wednesday. We just got on Wednesday. So what we teach Wednesday is that pretty much we, we our midweek reversal comes from Wednesday or Thursday. So this is our new low of Tuesday. This is the high of Tuesday. Now we see price. See what it's doing. Getting closer to London session. 
let's plan on this low. Okay, there we go, our lambda. Drop down to the Sunday, Monday's low now. Down to the Sunday, Monday's low. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, since we got this strong move here on Tuesday, I will expect a continuation. So if you're new at trading, you always want to go with the trend because you never want to go against the trend when um, trading these, these setups if you're not familiar with the market um, manipulation. And there we go, our New York. But a continuation with a strong move down to the downside. So uh, then again, here, why is that, what is our entry reasons? You know, you mark out your days of the week with your, your tools. What is our entry reasons? Of course, stock hunt, Sunday, Monday's high, opening of London, I mean, opening of New York session is, our, is our, one of our main reasons of entering this trade. And then what would have been our zone? So, of course, our zone on this one, our, our exit, would have been at this low of Sunday, Monday. And that would have been one of the zones, our first zone would have been right here to be exact, because we see price kind of reversing off this area right here. We see, we see some liquidity here. So this would have been our zone. So this would have been our first take profit our exit reason. This would have been the reason we exited this trade. So at Generational Wealth, like I said, we teach trend, twin trading. So we would have exit our first trade right here, moved our stop loss below our entry and kept this trade going. And kept that going and caught that move as well. We would have been ready to catch this memory reversal for the continuation on Wednesday. We would have just entered again as well as our First trade has been going since Tuesday. So, so when you're back testing, you have to take this serious. You have to, you have to literally get into these charts. You have to, you have to study. You cannot, you cannot get this without studying. There's no way. Every pair moves different. So, um, some pairs midweek reversal will happen on Wednesdays always. Some will happen on Thursdays. Some will happen um, that usually happens on Wednesdays will prolong to Thursday. So you have to understand that you have to back test to see that overall structure and that system that's, that's being played out to understand what is going to happen. So define your strategy, find your entry reasons, exit reasons, mark down your, your days of the week, your London open in New York, and then journal it. Write down your journals, the pairs, the entries, the exits, stop loss, the pips gained, and the wins and the losses. You have to write this stuff down. Back testing is one of the most important aspects of this. So uh, I'll leave you with that. If you um, have not seen any of the previous recorded videos, go ahead and check out our YouTube video. Um, if you're interested in joining the company, you can send a message. Um, sign on to team www.tgw4x.com or you can just join the telegram here, the free telegram and send us, send, send me a message and we'll get you all set up. So again, back test, back test, back test. Thank you. Watching Generational Wealth.